Gaming Guy 88 here with another console overview. This one is on the Gizmondo. Made by Tiger Telematics, not to be confused with Tiger Electronics. This handheld came out in 2005 and it had two different versions. This particular version here retailed for $3.99. The other version, which was complete black, retailed for $2.29, but that one had advertisements that you had to watch a certain amount each day. So if you didn't want that, then you had to pay extra for this version here. But by the time they were both released, they didn't make any ads for for the systems. So I guess if you bought the less expensive version, then you got a good deal. Mine definitely needs some cleaning. But uh, over here, you have your play button. Your rewind, fast forward, and stop. And over here is the D pad. And got the Gizmondo logo down here. And obviously, got the screen in the middle. And then up here, you have a series of buttons. You've got your home button. I believe this one is the brightness. This one, I'm not entirely sure. This one has a, has a triangle on it. And this one right here, I believe, is the on and off button. There's also shoulder buttons. Got your L and R buttons. On the back, you have a camera. This is the battery pack. Now, do you have the option of just regular batteries or a battery pack? And this is the actual battery pack. Down here, you have your headphone jack. You have your, I believe, I believe that's micro USB. And you have where you would plug in the AC adapter. And right here, you would put in the game card. And here's what one of the games would look like. This was featured on, on my five games with funny names because it's sticky balls. And uh, it's a party game. There were only 25,000 of these made and it didn't last very long on the market because it, it was only marketed in the UK and certain kiosk and, and malls and stuff over here in the in the states but part of the reason it didn't last long and this story is is just crazy but one of the uh, top executives was involved with the Swedish m mafia and he ended up getting caught after that the the company had to, had to close down and that that was the end for the system but the system had a decent amount of well it didn't have very many games for it but the ones that that, that, that it did have actually w w were not bad and it was just kind of sad how how the system ended up but s sometimes that's just how how, how it is that's about it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, you all take care.